I've told you, this is a weird world. The forces that guide men are unpredictable, awesome, yet their splendor is something to witness. He stopped talking and looked at me again. He seemed to be on the verge of revealing something to me, but he checked himself and smiled. Is there something that guides us? Certainly. There are powers that guide us. Can you describe them? Not really, except to call them forces, spirits, winds, or anything like that. I wanted to probe him further, but before I could say anything else, he stood up. I stared at him, flabbergasted. He had stood up in one single movement. His body simply jerked up, and he was on his feet. I was still pondering upon the unusual skill that would be needed in order to move with such speed when he told me in a dry tone of command to stalk a rabbit, catch it, kill it, skin it, and roast the meat before the twilight. He looked up at the sky and said that I might have enough time. I automatically started off, proceeding the same way I have done scores of times. Don Juan walked beside me and followed my movements with a scrutinizing look. I was very calm and moved carefully, and I had no trouble at all in catching a male rabbit. Now kill it, Don Juan said dryly. I reached into the trap to grab hold of the rabbit. I had it by the ears and was pulling it out when a sudden sensation of terror invaded me. For the first time since Don Juan had begun to teach me how to hunt, it occurred to me that he had never taught me how to kill game. In the scores of times we had roamed in the desert, he himself had only killed one rabbit, two quail, and one rattlesnake. I dropped the rabbit and looked at Don Juan. I can't kill it, I said. Why not? I I've never done that. But you've killed hundreds of birds and other animals. With a gun, not with my bare hands. What difference does it make? The rabbit's time is up. Don Juan's tone shocked me. It was so authoritative, so knowledgeable, it left no doubt in my mind that he knew that the rabbit's time was up. Kill it. He commanded with a ferocious look in his eyes. I can't. He yelled at me that the rabbit had to die. He said that its roaming in this beautiful desert had come to an end. I had no business installing, because the power or spirit that guides rabbits had led that particular one into my trap, right at the edge of twilight. A series of confusing thoughts and feelings overtook me, as if the feelings had been out there waiting for me. I felt with agonizing clarity the rabbit's tragedy, to have fallen into my trap. In a matter of seconds, my mind swept across the most crucial moments of my own life than many times I had been the rabbit myself. I looked at it, and it looked at me. The rabbit had backed up against the side of the cage. It was almost curled up, very quiet and motionless. We exchanged a somber glance, and that glance, which I had fancied to be a silent despair, cemented a complete identification on my part. The hell with it, I said loudly. I won't kill anything. The rabbit goes free. A profound emotion made me shiver. My arms trembled as I tried to grab the rabbit by the ears. It moved fast and I missed. I again tried and fumbled once more. I became desperate. I had the sensation of nausea and quickly kicked the trap in order to smash it and let the rabbit go free. The cage was very strong and did not break as I thought it would. My despair mounted into an unbearable feeling of anguish. Using all my strength, I stomped on the edge of the cage with my right foot. The sticks cracked loudly. I pulled out the rabbit. I had a moment of relief, which was shattered to bits in the next instant. The rabbit hung limp in my hand. It was dead. I didn't know what to do. I became preoccupied with finding out how it died. I turned to Don Juan. He was staring at me. A feeling of terror sent a chill through my body. I sat down by some rocks. I had a terrible headache. Don Juan put his hand on my head and whispered in my ear that I had to roast it before the twilight was over. I felt nauseated. He very patiently talked to me as if he was talking to a child. He said that the powers that guided men or animals had led that particular rabbit to me in the same way it would lead me to my own death. He said that rabbit's death had been a gift for me in exactly the same way my own death will be the gift for someone or something else. I was dizzy. The simple events of that day had crushed me. I tried to think that it was only a rabbit. I could not, however, shake off the uncanny identification I had with it. Don Juan said I needed to eat some of the meat, if only a morsel, in order to validate my finding. I can't do that, I protested meekly. We are dregs in the hands of those forces. 
so stop your self-importance and use this gift properly. I picked up the rabbit. It was warm. Don Juan leaned over and whispered in my ear, Your trap was his last battle on earth. I told you, he had no more time to roam in this marvelous desert. <laughs>